Hello, another interesting question. What is your greatest achievement or accomplishment? So if this question comes to you, what would be your idea? What would be your answer? Straight away, if you are interested, watch out. There are several common interview questions employers may ask to learn about you. One of these questions is certainly what is your greatest accomplishment? Some other ways this might be asked that includes what work are you most proud of? What would you consider your most impressive achievement? Can you describe an important goal you accomplished? Now these questions provide you the opportunity to share a relevant impressive accomplishment that demonstrates the value you will bring to your potential employer. In this particular shoot, we'll try and understand why interviewers ask this question and how to answer it with examples. So let's get going. So why do interviewers ask this question is interviewers ask this question to gain insight about your proven work and what achievements you view as most valuable and important. When interviewers ask about your greatest accomplishment, they are interested in learning about three main things. One is your work ethic. Interviewers are interested in what you view as an accomplishment and the proven work you completed to achieve it. Your core values that interviewers are interested in, which accomplishment you select as your greatest and why. So it's a direct reflection of what is a core value that you are driving home or making them understand along with what is the task given and how do you weigh both in terms of achievement or accomplishing it overall. Examples could be interviewers want to learn about specific examples of your work. These examples give them an idea of projects you have completed and what they can expect from you. How to answer what is your greatest accomplishment? So let's dwell upon this. To answer this interview question, it is important that you prepare an outline of your answer so you will feel comfortable providing an answer during your interview. Here are steps you can take to prepare a good answer. Begin by making a list of your accomplishment first of all. Put together two to three stories that you feel represent your best work as it relates to the position for which you are applying. So you need to map your story, first of all the skill sets and their stories and what best that they map and match with the job profile or the job description. These examples will be stories that showcases your most interesting and impressive accomplishments. It is a good idea to think of more than one example. Always be ready with two, minimum two examples. So you can tailor your story to different interviews. Plus, if you have more than one example ready, which you, and ideally you should have, you will be prepared if the interviewer asks you to discuss your additional accomplishments. Let's say if another accomplishment comes, then you have a second answer ready for it. If you are having trouble thinking of impressive achievements, consider times you have been complimented or recognized for your work. So it's not always a good goody story. It can also be a recognized anything that is recognized of your ideation or your work or maybe a compliment right, intended the right way. Think of ways you have made an impact in your previous positions such as making it possible for a task to be completed faster or with fewer people, saving the company money or increasing revenue in some way. This can also be taken into account if you are an intern or doing any kind of a voluntary work. If you have received a recent promotion or any recognition, any title, any designation while working with a student's club, various student's club that you are associated with, Think of the reasons why you may have been promoted. So it's not what you have done. It is how you were able to achieve that. 
review the job description very 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 important for me to make your answers relevant to the interviewer and company be sure to review job description and research the company this will help you select an accomplishment that demonstrates the skills and qualities the employer is looking for important follow the star the situation task approach and result approach or a technique this will give you an opportunity to focus on the key details of your accomplishment and create a story for your interviewer that's memorable and concise how to use a star method to use a star method you should follow four distinct steps each actually correlated to s t a r and that is let's say if a situation says in the first part of your answer provide brief context that sets up your accomplishment this often describes a certain issue you or your team or your company is experiencing for example you can say in my marketing internship at a software company the team spent several hours each month organizing budget sheets task next explain your role within the situation you have defined the situation you are now now you are explaining the task this could include the task you are responsible for the role you played in a certain issue or certain skills you offered that were of value example how do you say it while my role typically consisted of assisting the other marketers with copywriting and other creative tasks i thought my experience handling budget sheets from a finance course i had completed might be of use now comes the third one approach so how do you approach then discuss the ways you contributed to making an impact or solving a problem make this concise and applicable to the interviewer by including keywords from the job description reiterate that how do you answer this after getting approval from my supervisor to take this project on i developed a more organized budget process that allowed each teammate to keep their own section organized on a weekly basis so we no longer had to rehaul the entire budget each month and finally comes the result so to complete your answer describe the positive outcome of your work if you can provide concrete results with numbers for example you have saved around few thousands or few lakhs right this will be of a great impact and how would you say it after a quarter of using the new process we reduced the time spent organizing budgets by 35% allowing the team to focus on more important marketing tasks marketing projects now example answers for what is your greatest accomplishments as you keep the star approach in mind consider the following examples of how you can answer a question about your greatest accomplishment example number 1 in my last position our technology development team lost a colleague due to relocation he was the lead developer for the ios version of the app of a particular app unfortunately no one else on the team had worked with ios to develop apps since i had experience developing an ios app i volunteered to take on the lead role of development and deployment of that particular app i worked with the other team members to create and troubleshoot the new app i was able to finish the development 60 days ahead of schedule it's currently available in the itunes stores and already has over 350 positive reviews and has offered an additional revenue stream for the company and the second way to answer this is in my most recent job i was responsible for managing the orientation and training programs for our new hires unfortunately the content was not engaging while it was necessary information for our new hires to have we found that only 35% of new hires did not complete the training we were also receiving poor feedback on the course evaluation forms i decided to rework the training program to make it more relevant and interesting based on industry's best practices and feedback on the evaluation forms today 
93% of the participants complete the training and provide positive feedback about their experience. My manager was so pleased with the improvements that she asked me to lead a training seminar in a next office. So in case if you have figured out how to approach and answer this particular question like what is your best achievement, think of the means and the ways that you were able to do it and think of what is that you have actually saved upon. Maybe if you have saved being resourceful is very very important. If you have saved on money, time, maybe man management, time factor, source or resource management, if you have done anything of that, I think you need to be concentrating more on the process, highlight that and tell the outcome. Remember that results are always the outcome of what you do as a process. So always be sure of this. So and whenever you do this, make it as a high recall so that you can put it across in an interview when this question comes up. So I hope we have made enough insight into this and it would be certainly of additional value to you. If it is so, best wishes. Thank you.